Sabering a champagne knife is much like painting, it's all about the prep. So you would have seen earlier, the first thing to do is put your champagne on ice. Um, and if you're in a hurry, throw some salt in there. Uh, salt reduces the temperature of the water and you can make the bottle a lot uh, easier to crack in a single slash. So get that right and the rest is fairly easy. If you pick up any champagne bottle, it has a line down the middle. Two pieces of glass have been put together and that is where you need to strike. So if you find that piece, you can then pose your knife on the bottle. You can go each way, but you want about 45 degrees up. And then having tested many times, if you go too hard, it often slides up like you're jumping uh, on, a, on a BMX barbecue jump. What you want to do is actually move very relaxed like uh, a, a snooker uh, when you've had two or three beers. You need to be right at the right level where you're moving it, but not moving it too far. So relax, strike, but don't do it with, with too much power. And you will find, after doing it once or twice, that it's actually very, very simple to do. One, That'll work. Two, three. Boom! That's not bad. <laughs> that feels good. It does feel good, doesn't it? I use the back of the knife because it's nice and thick, has plenty of weight, and it's at 45 degrees. Every champagne bottle is a little bit different, so you have to look at it. But if you hold it at 45 degrees, the glass is cold, and you move comfortably you should be able to very comfortably knock off a bottle of a champagne. One last question many people say, if I do that, will glass fall in the bottle? Try putting glass <laughs> in champagne, powering out of it. It is impossible. Lift it up. Got this, Chris. Oh. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> now I can drink it. champagne's <laughs> none. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, that is just incredible. <laughs> I've never ever done that before in my life. So that's why once removed, it's the perfect place to nourish your